just how dangerous are some highways in the state of Wyoming? I'm Rob Rosenthal, and this is an AskTheLawyers.com Legal Brief. Once again, a snowy pileup on Interstate 80 in Wyoming caused the roadway to be completely shut down for more than 12 hours. Late last week, a 27-vehicle crash east of Laramie resulted in numerous injuries and many damaged vehicles. The Wyoming Highway Patrol says 23 of the 27 vehicles in the pileup were commercial trucks. According to authorities, a state trooper had stopped to check on a truck that was stalled in the roadway. That's when another truck crashed into the rear of the stalled one, and then the chain reaction happened. So far, no deaths have been reported in this collision, but earlier in the month, a 100-vehicle pileup on the same interstate resulted in three deaths. Attorneys Tom Mateer and Grant Lawson, truck accident specialists with the Mateer Law Firm, say, sadly, we again see the breakdown in communication and driver training, which occurs within the trucking industry. Trucking companies and their drivers are responsible for knowing the driving conditions they are heading into. They have a responsibility, especially in the winter, to know what the road conditions are ahead of them for proper planning. They go on to say on top of this responsibility is the utmost duty to adjust to real-time driving conditions. Driving a tractor trailer in icy and snowy conditions requires drivers to slow down, keep control of their trucks, and maintain safe stopping distances. Making our highways and roadways safer is the mission of those few attorneys and law firms who have the knowledge, training, and expertise with trucking and commercial vehicle operations. We will continue to strive for this goal so that all users of our highways make it safely to their destinations every time. The Wyoming Department of Transportation says the number of times Interstate 80 has already been closed during this winter season is setting five-year records. YDOT says over 50% of the traffic on I-80 is heavy trucks. This has been an AskTheLawyers.com Legal Brief.